Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Brian from PC Box Studio and SharpEdit.com. But as you can see right now, the site looks a little different from my last demonstration. Um, I'm working on changing it up a bit because I didn't really like that dark look. I'm going for the more modernized, classy look, hopefully. I don't know. But um, this is just a preview of what's to come in the next couple of weeks. Um, it's been a while since I did a making of USF cessation, so I'm not sure I'm going to keep calling it the making of cessation. But I will still cover over the basic general concepts and ideas that I put into making that video because it was, it's uh, I think it's just got 30k views now. It's my most viewed video, and it's been blocked in like a bajillion countries. So thanks a lot, YouTube, and um, uh, you you owe me some views, anyways. But um, we're gonna go to After Effects and check out not check this out um, so this is what's going on I've got these awesome colors that I've been working on um, something that works with mojo and looks combined so as you can see mojo just tints out everything I wanted to announce or distinguish these colors bit a bit and bring out the nice glossy shine into this clip yeah I think I think the colors are awesome something I've been working on um so we covered blood adding blood um what else did we do we covered cropping coloring blood and i left you guys off with um without the render um and let's see what's going on here okay that looks pretty good actually i like that it's just my opinion it looks really great anyways um so we're gonna cover we're gonna cover how to render. Um, there's a couple of different settings I use, but the best one that I find, in my opinion, that runs great in Adobe Premiere is the the uh, what's it called? The QuickTime Movie. That's it's very it's not compressed much, but it's um it's a lot smaller than these raw AVI files that Fraps records for you. All right, so now we're gonna go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And then we're going to click on the output module lossless. And we're going to go to QuickTime. And then click the format options and go to photo JPEG for the codec. And then set the quality to, it'd be like 70 or something. Set it to 100. Just want the maximum quality. And click audio output. And then click on the 44.1 kilohertz and click OK. Now, how do we save? We want to we want to save this as a template. So I think you click the drop down and you click custom. No, 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 no. You click make template. Yeah. And I think we type a name here like quick time photo jpeg JPEG 720p 30 frames per second with audio because it's audio. And we click save all. Um, never mind. We're gonna click OK. And there we go. So let's say we didn't have this rendered. Um, this is a new clip. Okay. Pretend this is a new clip. We just added blood and colors and cropped. We're gonna click here. And we're gonna go composition save frame. No, no, no. Add to render queue. And instead of clicking this and doing all that random garbage again, we're gonna click down. And we're gonna click QuickTime Photo JPEG 720p 30 frames per second. Oh, 30 frames a second with audio, and it's done. Now we're gonna set the output to something like the desktop and make a new folder. I'm gonna call this Renders or something, and I'm gonna call it Awesome Clip, and click Save. And then next, you just click the button Render, and it'll do its magic. Anyways, this has been chapter four, I believe. Can we check? Chapter four. Yeah, chapter four. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be moving on to chapter five, but stay tuned and keep on subscribing. We're going to party like, party like, like it's the end of the world.